by Alex Colafola Runzo Engineer Olushiganoni was a former governor of Ikiti State. He is among 33 governorship aspirants on the platform of the All Progressives Congress who will participate in today's primaries to pick the party's candidate for the state's governorship election. In this interview, Chief Oni explained why he was the best candidate. Excerpts, at the last count, gubernatorial aspirants in your party are 33, what gives you an edge above other contestants? What gives me an edge first, it is the grace of God and also the experience. I believe the people of the state will testify, to the fact that I left some legacies and that should give me an edge any day. I was a governor in Ikiti State for three and a half years and I did not steal a Kobo. I deployed everything I had to move the state forward, my training, intellect and experience as a management consultant. I am very happy that people are saying now that what they experienced during my tenure as governor was really good governance. Ikiti 2018, my re-election bid is to redeem Ikiti, ex-gov. Oni you were once a governor, why do you want to contest again? I did not start it. People on their own felt that I performed well as governor. I employed over 10,000 workers, in a day, I employed over 4,000 workers. Nobody could accuse me of engaging in nepotism while I was governor. The leaders in the state come together and said that I should re-contest for the progress of our party, All Progressives Congress. Can you list some of your achievements in office as governor? They are too numerous to mention, but let me start with education. Before I became governor, parents used to buy desks and lockers for their children to schools. Within a few months that I became governor, I produced desks and lockers for all schools in Ikiti State. We abolished the tradition of pupils carrying desks and lockers to schools and returning them home every day in Ikiti State. I was the one who ensured that textbooks were made available free of charge in all secondary schools in Ikiti State. If you are a brilliant student, you shall enjoy scholarship. I started scholarship board in Ikiti State. In two sessions, we gave out over 200 scholarships to students in the state. One of the delegates for Saturday's governorship primaries in Ikiti State came to me recently saying that he enjoyed the free jam scheme I introduced some years back when I was an ordinary politician in the state. We also organized coaching classes for students in all the local governments in the state. The delegate thanked me that one of the students who benefited from the scheme is now a doctor. I built one of the best eye centers in Ikiti State. The government of Cuba supported us in this area. I don't like talking about my achievements because I want people to judge for themselves. If I am re-elected as governor, we will embark on the social and economic order of the state. We have thought deeply about this and youths in the state will benefit massively from this scheme at the end of the day. Chief Abufemi Awiloa introduced agriculture into governance. We shall also introduce programs that will benefit all the youths and citizens of the state if I am re-elected. What are your chances in the forthcoming primary election of your party? My chances are very bright. I want to say without any iota of doubt that I have the brightest chance in the primaries. We had an elaborate declaration. We launched the youth program. We have embarked on local government tours. We have met everybody. We listened to their complaints and they listened to us. We have gone round the senatorial districts to meet the delegates who will vote for us. There are insinuations that you are planning to decamp to SDP if the primary does not favor you. That is not true. You should expect rumors and political propaganda at a time when the primary election is fast approaching. There are some people who have plans A, B, C and D if things don't favor them. As far as I am concerned, my name is Engineer Olushigan Adebayo Oni and my plan A is a PC. Plan B is a PC. Plan C is a PC and up to Z my plan is a PC. Why should I exercise fears when I know that by the grace of God, I will win at the primary election? I strongly believe that APC will take over governance in Ikiti State in a matter of time. I want to appeal to our delegates to shun money bags and they should never be deceived with financial inducement during the primaries. They should vote based on their conscience and on performance index. The fear among core members of your party is that you will sideline them if you are given the ticket of your party. I have said it earlier that I don't believe in nepotism. I am free with everybody. I am for all. I have always carried the people along, especially the party members. I was the national deputy chairman of the party and I represented the entire southern Nigeria. How plausible are these insinuations coming from the opponent's camp because they have seen good things coming for Saganoni? I am a party man and I believe in the ethos of the party, which includes carrying all party members along.